making custom forms and then launching those custom forms on your website, it's so easy. Let me show you what I built right here. It literally took me two minutes to do. Obviously the video is a little bit longer because I explain everything, uh, but making this was only two minutes. This is a beautiful custom form, custom fields. And here's the thing. I didn't have to go out and do the research on how to make or, or what fields needed to be in this form. I literally just told it what I wanted and it made this custom form. I didn't pay anything. Uh, it's all free. Not only is it beautiful launching, the form is super easy. There's just a few options. And I added this, this uh, elegant background image. Uh, I adjusted some settings. I put a nice color in there. And the spacing and the styling of this form is absolutely stunning and beautiful. If you look at just, for example, this multi-select option here, uh, or it's probably single select, when I click on it, it has these beautiful, nice, subtle animations and everything is beautifully styled. This is a beautiful custom form. Normally, I would have to go out. I mean, it's a RSVP to a wedding. I've only been married one time, so it's not a common thing that I would just know what to ask. Normally you gotta go and do some research and figure out what you need to ask in a form, uh, but you don't have to do it. And I'll show you how to make this form or any kind of custom form and launch it in minutes at absolutely no cost. So let's get started by setting up a new site for this form. I always go to ZipWP and get a free account here and you can use it to build websites for testing things and then you can launch the website. So here's my account. I'll go to create new. I'll choose a blank website and I'll give this a name. Okay, I've given it the name wedding website. I'll click on create site. And before I can even finish my sentence, it's already created the site. So all I have to do is click where it says one click login. It's gonna open up in a new tab and log me into this fresh, clean website. Nothing's on it. It's just ready to be customized. Next, I'll go to plugins and I'll choose this option that says add new plugin over here in the top right. I'll search for sure forms, one word. And here it is. I'll click on install and then I'll choose activate. Now that it's installed on the site, I'm going to choose create a new form. The options right here in the menu, create a new, well, just says new form. I'll choose that. And Right now, there's two options. You can build a form from scratch, but that's not what I'm gonna do in this uh, video. Why make it from scratch uh, and have to do all that research to figure out what fields and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna choose try the AI form builder. And when you click on this, all you have to do is enter what you want. And you can even put some specific details if there's some specific things that you want in this form. So I'll go ahead and fill it out only got married one time. I have no idea what needs to be in a wedding RSVP form. Uh, so I would have to, if I was doing this from scratch, go and look at other wedding RSVP forms. And I would have to do a little bit of research, make notes of what fields and then manually build it. But instead I could just use natural language and ask. So I wrote uh, create a wedding RSVP form. Ask the typical things. Also ask if they have any special mobility needs. This is a little extra instruction because I just want to see how it does. Uh, and ask if they have any special mobility needs that we need to accommodate for. So let me fix that. Ask the tip. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to click on generate form. And this usually takes like 10 seconds or so. It's really, really quick. And it's let's just uh, see what it comes up with. And here it is. The reason this comes up is it's a fresh WordPress site. So it looks like uh, we've got name, email, phone number. This is all good. Uh, if you're going to attend, and this is a multi-select, which is a different type of field type, number of guests, dietary restrictions, that's also good. I would have had to do some research to, to know if I needed to add that. And here's my special field for special mobility needs. And it says right here, uh, um, it's nice. Please inform us of any mobility needs we should accommodate for the event. I like that. That's what I specifically asked for just as a test. 
Uh, song request, that's cool. Uh, message to the couple, that's actually really cool right there. So this is looking good and it's all visual. I can click into any field and I can see the settings for the field if I needed to change something. I can change the width of the field uh, so I could put name and uh, click on email on the same line by just changing them to 50% each. Uh, let's actually go back. I like it just like this. Uh, you can change these bits of text and all of these fields have options uh, for them. Uh, so for example, right here, will you attend the wedding? I might not like that it's taking up a second line. Uh, so there's an option here that says width and it's set to two columns, but I can go to three columns if that's what I want. Uh, I'll go back to two columns. Uh, so this looks good. Uh, this button I'm going to want to change. So I'm going to click on it and here are the options. I can style it so I can choose a color from the color palette uh, for the site that I'm on. So let's uh, maybe choose something like that. Uh, instead of, let's make it the full width of the area like this. Uh, instead of the word submit, let's just change that. I don't know, I just put RSVP now. <laughs> I don't know, uh, you can make it whatever you want, obviously. So, uh, so far this is great. I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish and then I'm gonna click on publish. Now, let's click right here, the option that says view form and take a look at it. So this is where we're at already, but now we wanna launch the form. We've already created a beautiful form, uh, but now we want to launch this form, make it available on our site. And this isn't actually how I want it. Let's look at the options to take this and make it a beautiful page that we can start emailing out and sending to our guests. So I'll click back on edit form and there's this option here on the top right ish area that says instant form. And when you click on it, this is an option that creates that page you just saw. So I don't have to build and design a page on my website. This will just do it all for me. And it gives me a few simple options. So first of all, option is to enable this instant form feature. So I want to turn this on. Uh, next is to have a preview of the feature. So when I turn this on, it's now going to show me what it's going to look like. So now we could start customizing this out. So I'm going to, I don't want to show the title there. Uh, I'm going to have to actually adjust something for that in a moment. So I'm going to turn the title off. I'll add a bit of text above here in a moment to add the info I want to open the form for someone. All right, so I've gotten rid of the title. Now for this banner area, you could change the color, but I'm gonna put an image. So let me select an image. I'll click here and I'll choose one from my computer. So here's an image, it looks kind of celebratory, I guess. This is just an image, you can have any image. It just needs to be a big enough image. So I'm gonna choose select. Now that's actually looks, actually that looks very nice, but I want it to be an overwhelming nice feeling. And there's this option here that says use banner. That's this area here. Use the banner as the page background. Now I can change the color of this background if I wanted, or I can just toggle this on and it takes that image and it makes it the full background. And this is kind of the look and feel that I'm uh, going after. And I'll scroll down and uh, actually, let's take a look at this. Uh, so then we have background. We don't need the background because we uh, just added that image. Now here is something I do want to adjust and that is the width. So there's column here. I wanna make it just a little bit wider. So there's this slider here where you can, you know, make it whatever size you want. I'm gonna enter 700. I like that width, it gives it a little bit more breathing room, the exact amount of breathing room that I want. And then down here is the actual URL I can use to send out to people. So it's my website address, and then what's called a slug, it's, so it's your website slash, and then you can have it be whatever you want. So if I click on it, I can change it to be whatever I want. So it'd be, currently it's set to be the name of the form, which is wedding RSVP form. Uh, we can make it say whatever we want. Uh, just how about wedding RSVP? I'll get rid of this hyphen form. Uh, there we go. And uh, that's perfect. 
So I'm going to click on save. Now let's exit this preview. So I'll click back on instant form. I'll turn off this enable preview to get back here. And this little icon here to the left of the save button, that will open this up in a new tab to view. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and then here it is. So there's one more thing I need to do, which is add a little bit of intro text here. And I'll show you that in a sec. But this is a beautiful form already. Um, wow, this kind of color kind of matches a little bit. So that worked out good. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go back to the form. Now I want to add a little bit of text up here. So I can click this plus here on the top left, and here's all the field types I can add, but one of them right here says heading. So I can drag and drop it. Another way of doing this is there's some quick action items that I can add in, and here's the heading. So I can literally click, drag, and drop right there and fill this out. So I'll go ahead and put some text here. I don't know, I just put RSVP to our wedding, that's fine. I'll go ahead and click on save and now let's preview it. This looks absolutely beautiful. RSVP to our wedding, we've got our fields here and we have our submit button. This looks beautiful. Now there's a couple more things you might want to do. Let me go back into the form. Over here, there's some options. It says form confirmation, email notification, that's where the submissions will go, compliance settings and integrations. I'll click on form confirmation. It pulls this up and this is where you decide what happens after someone clicks on that submit button. So you could show a message, redirect them to a different page uh, on your site or to a, just a different website altogether. So you might want to like redirect them to the gift registry. <laughs> no, uh, actually probably what I would do is for the success message, I would change the text here and you could just click and type away. I would actually add a link to where the gift registry is. That would be pretty cool. Uh, so after the form is submitted, they see that message and then they know where to go to pick out a gift. Uh, but that's just some free advice right there. Now, I don't know about you, but that was the easiest custom form building experience that I have ever had, hands down. And when you look at the details of the quality of the form that's created, the subtle interactions, the styling, everything, the spacing, everything is crafted beautifully. And the AI is just a cherry on the top to save time from having to go out and research what should be in a form and then to write all that down, and then to go and manually build that all out, it probably saves about 45 minutes or so of not having to do that. You could just use the AI to give you the perfect starting point uh, for a form. Uh, it really doesn't get any easier than this in creating forms. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, what do you think about this implementation of AI specifically in a very practical manner? There's no having to sign up for anything or pay for anything. It just works.